Hello everybody! Wow, my microphone was close to my face! My name is Untold Gamer. There we go, we're, we're all back to normal. And welcome back to One Shot. I'm excited to play this game. Nico just woke up from his little darkness. Andrew? Andrew, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Oh, that's it? Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I... It has been a few days since I got the... Uh, is this computer on? Do we need to? Yes, we do! Okay. We all remember interacting with the computer and everything. And if you haven't, please go back and watch the first half of this series. I see you've made progress in this world, Andrew. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, Andrew? Yes. Good. Start looking. Oh, yeah. The code is contained within a document. The document is, has a found a place that belongs outside the game. Do you know where to find documents, Andrew? What if I click no? Yes. Good. Start looking. So, once again, it's going to be one of those things where I have to look at my little documents folder and get the key. But, of course, we've been through this a million times. I'm kind of curious to see whether or not the safe will actually be empty since we already have the journal that was found inside of it. This is why I'm playing through it again. A, to see the opposite ending, and B, to see what is different. So I'm gonna go here. Documents, document one shot. Looks like you were successful. I must be honest, I was not expecting it to work. This changes everything then. I will atone you for everything. Please give me some time. Until then, you must repeat this. Whoa, this shit is different. Oh, this is very different. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can't. Hit sources. That, give me this. Okay, so this is actually the document that came up rather than the previous one. Ah, it looks like, uh, hang on, I'm gonna. Ah, it looks like you were successful. I must be honest. I was not expecting it to work. This changes everything, then. I will atone for everything. Please give me some time. Until then, you may repeat the world as many times as you wish. If you haven't yet, please look for someone named Rue. She's in the city somewhere. Do pardon the artifacts and the message. I tried my best to eliminate them this time, but... Oh, right. You still need the gas mask to progress. Go back to the safe. It's between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is 375282. Um, so things are definitely, definitely, definitely different. Oh, I need the, I need the code real fast. 375-282. Six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Hang on, let me bring it down so I can see it. Just get it in one shot so it's not annoying for you guys. Seven. Five. Two. Two. Eight. Whoa, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Andrew? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right, let's see. Uh, I found a gas mask. The ocean and the lookout point. Is this the safe? Ah. Uh, what is that? I might want to bring up the Clover application for next time that I, um, I, um, speak with the computer, um, maybe something might come up, uh, I don't know, it would be pretty cool, but it said that it was going to atone for everything, what exactly that entails, I do not know. Repeat the game as many times as you wish, huh? This absolutely... I should be fine with this mask on. Yep. Alrighty then. We have a few different things to do. 
remembering what those are is not my best quality. It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Yep. We have to make the little recipe. Yep, and we have to use the crowbar. Good thing I kept this crowbar. <laughs> yep, we remember all this. What a workout. Yep, he's gonna get tired and he's ready for a cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Um We're gonna have another dream and another nap. So maybe this will be a little bit different because the um I don't know if you remember the orange person in the last episode was not there. I even checked the previous videos. And you guys can go back and check yourselves. Um, that is not the same. The last time, it was a, a, a distant yellow light. So, quite different indeed. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun! Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to the Prophetbot? I think so, yeah. Prophetbot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, you cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What do you look for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah. Uh, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. That's just sad. Do we find anything in these? I don't remember, but I'll go ahead and I'll look in them anyway. Yeah, I think it's just notes. Notes and bits and pieces of the fracture past. Ah, uh, this might be something. Big. Picture of a robot. You know, I've never seen so many robots around, Andrew. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah! Oh man! I'm so glad I picked Nico do the robot voice. Uh, last time. Cause that was totally flippin' adorable. Not even gonna lie. Okay, so we have the rubber gloves. We need the syringe from medical. So that we can stick our... Stick our stuff in the other stuff. And then... It goes in a... We have to put, we have to get the gas, and then put the gas in the bubble, right? It's not this one, is it? What is this? Some sort of mechanical drawing. Okay. Alright, so we have to find the infirmary. Here it is. And then we have to talk to this robot and be like, yo, what's up? Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Ellipses. Um... Scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You are good to go. This music might actually be pretty low. How's that? Or maybe even that. Uh, let's take it up to that. Huh? Is that a little bit better? I hope so. Oh, whoops. Uh, I need this. You are good to go. Uh, thanks. Hello, person. Are you seeking administration? <laughs> Oh, carry on then. Uh, it's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted. This plastic syringe seems to be okay. Tight. Just gonna take it. Goodness sakes. Ugh. I didn't even have a bit of a long day today. I mean, shoot. Whatever. I guess I'm just tired today. Can't help it. Humans get tired. That's what we do. Get tired we do things things and stuff I knew I am we're going to bottle I'm not gonna smash the bottle I guess you want me to fill the bottle with the gas Andrew da, da, da. that'll do it Yay. all right so then we gotta go down to this bubble if you guys remember Thing. Here it is. Alright. We're gonna take the empty syringe. So, we're filling up the syringe, Andrew? I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. That's what she said. 
So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Andrew? It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. Okay. I am actually gonna go chat with the um, the engineer before we do go. I liked playing chess with her. If there's nothing special, then there's nothing special, and I wasted your time, and I do apologize. But I have a feeling that two characters talking like that, especially since the dialogue is going to be different, something has to be different there. Nico's going to remember something, she's going to think that this has already happened, something of that nature will happen. I'm almost positive. Almost possible. Not quite. Oh, yeah, we need to take amino acid and spawn. Put the acid on the sponge. Get the game out of these gloves. All this works. Unit RM288347. Reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I'll escort you to reach your dormitory at RM1. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought he was actually escorting me. I was like, excuse me. I has nowhere to live. I has nowhere to live, Dad. Plus, give two plus a uh, plus to live, Dad. Plus, okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being weird. You guys love me for it. Come on now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go down here. We're gonna go over. Wait. Why don't I just do this? We will go. Is it the old factory? No, it's the outpost. Alright. Yeah. We head to the outpost. And we go down. I'm gonna go play chess first. Because I wanna... Uh, like I was talking about with that dialogue. Something has to be different. Just something has to be. I just... I know it. And plus I actually like... The... Um, the engineering thing should be cool. Is it this way? I cannot remember, but I remember being stuck for so long, going the same path every single time, and you guys had to get upset with me about it. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know where I was going. Actually, I did multiple times. Hello, robot. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. All right, hello, in here. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's just been there since the beginning of time. Sorry. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Thanks. Um, excuse me. No, we have to play a game of chess. It's a metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a very long time. Oh, not even with other robots? No. Nobody in the Barrens have that capacity in their program. Nobody here is tame for that matter. Yo. Yo. How do I play chess with her? We have to get the amber. Yeah, we have to get the amber. And in order to do that, we have to play chess with her first. I just now remember that we actually need the amber, but like, what? What is down here? Oh, the actual way to go. Okay, if you say so. Well, let's go to the docks. Docks. Hello. The documents folder. Hello. No, not that way. No. Alright. This makes me really want to go swimming.
Oh yeah, I'm a functional. Was you fix the generator? Why didn't you help me? But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am robot number 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Ellipses, ellipses. Are you okay? I cannot move. What are you gonna? You are still really rusty. That is true. Hold on, Angel will find some way to help you. Alright, hold still. I have no other choice. Wax on and we're gonna wax off. There. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? You take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen port number. My built in navigation circuits are fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It's not good at all. Once again, I cannot fulfill my programming. Aww. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with a head engineer. She will know what to do. Okay, so I just... I... Was there just too... too fast. Look out point. <laughs> Hello, head engineer. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower. But it's having some trouble. So it told me to talk to you. Alright. What's the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Andrew and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots. Robots. Have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. I do apologize. I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah, well, sort of. I played it with some older kids before. Then, will you play again with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I can do. I don't be an asshole. I'm just kidding. You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Ah, so, what's it like being a robot now? You talk to all the robots and they say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have moved on to other regions. Exactly where? I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse. Night. Right. Oh! Have you been to any other regions? I heard there's two more. In the past, yes. Do you still have the data, the coordinates, the memories? I don't ho know how much of that still holds. Just... Wow! My reading is awful. Like it always is. Shat. The world may be a very different place now. But the sun... Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. So does that mean if I stick the sun on top of the tower, and it won't do anything? That's what she's thinking. Do I really want to condemn him to... to be here forever? I don't know, like, I... Me freeing him to go back home was... was my original, original, what I would honestly do. I don't want to 
to just condemn him to this world and not be with his family. Like, that's just, this is messed up. The sunset death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? Why did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you're only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second for me, there's no guarantee that things will work out. But, checkmate. Alright, I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you can get home safely. Ah, thank you also. I want to play another game. It's just table. It's not dusty anymore. The bed is made of metal. Doesn't look very comfortable. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. I want to see if there's anything, anything in the mines, because that would be totally cool if there was something besides safety violation, safety violation, safety violation. I play this through a third time that it will be complete I will lose my mind I'm just gonna fast travel to the docks and then I'm gonna end it there because we are about out of time ladies and gentlemen maybe some gentle germs and random people have we talked to the head engineer yet? she lives near the mine entrance I would have given you coordinates but yes I do need to hold the amber This is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating the tracking system. Setting course. Wait. The boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. With this gas mask and gloves. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. Yay. That would be totally cool. What's that face for, bud? And... Yay! Welcome back to the Glen. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, hit that like button down below. And if you want to support the series or the channel, hit that subscribe button. Because I still love this game, even though it's my second time playing. I will see you dudes next time.